San Diego voters are also being asked to decide what to do with the former home of the Chargers and Padres and its surrounding areas. It all comes down to two competing measures, E and G, which have campaigned for more than a year now. That's right, and we have crews covering both of those initiatives, Soccer City and SDSU West. So let's begin with our tennis reporter, Matt Boone. Hey guys, all that's happening right now here at the U.S. Grant Hotel. A lot of preparations underway. That party is going to begin at 7 o'clock downstairs in the basement. That's where they're getting their preparations. But we do have some of those renderings that were shared along the way that kind of illustrate what this could look like if Measure G passes, also known as the SDSU West Initiative. This would allow the city to sell the property where SDCCU Stadium is to SDSU. Exactly what it would look like, though, is still unknown. What's been proposed is a 35,000 seat stadium where the Aztec football team would play. It could also include 4,500 units of housing in addition to office, retail and educational facilities. All of that has to go through several rounds of public and environmental review. But members of the Yes on G campaign are calling it a once in a generation opportunity to significantly expand the campus. It would help most importantly create more college graduates who over the long term will create more jobs, they, they will uh, pay more taxes, um, they will start more businesses and really drive our economy for the long term. And as we mentioned, what really makes this interesting is there's a competing ballot measure, a completely different plan that is also on the ballot. That is Measure E, and my colleague Travis Rice is standing by at the Measure E campaign headquarters with more information on what's behind this initiative. Travis. Hey man, yeah, we're here at the Tavern and Bowl in the East Village. This is sort of serving as the home base for Measure E, otherwise known as Soccer City. Its supporters are hoping that the prospect of a new soccer stadium will get enough voters to support this measure. Now, what this measure is doing is that it will bring a 23,000 seat stadium uh, to the SDCCU area where there is currently a 47 acre site that has sat largely unused since the Chargers left. In addition to that stadium, there would be a mixed use development of sorts, which would include a businesses and also an entertainment district similar to that at LA Live. Now, you may remember last year, SDSU and uh, the officials behind Soccer City had a bit of a falling out. That's why there's two different ballot measures. Now, it is worth mentioning tonight that even if both measures get 50%, the way how they will determine the winner is that whoever does get the most votes will be the prevailing measure. Good old fashioned democracy. Live in the East Village, Travis Rice, 10 News. All right, thanks, Travis. 10 News and ABC News are your home for the most comprehensive election coverage. We'll have the first results after the polls close at 8 p.m., along with live results at the bottom of your screen throughout the night.